Hello and welcome back to the Mongoose mini-series. Today we'll be going through episode 3 and I'm going to be showing you guys how to disassemble and lubricate the hubs on your new Mongoose. Now I'm going to demonstrate it on a rear wheel, however the process is the exact same for the front wheel. It's actually a little bit easier because you don't have to remove the free wheel on the front. So let's get right to it. So we're going to start with the rear wheel because it is the more difficult of the two. You are going to need a special tool to get to the hub and it is one of these. It is a freewheel cassette puller. Uh, they're really cheap. You can usually get them at any local bike shop or you can even order them online for under about $5-$10. Um, in conjunction with that you're going to need an adjustable wrench big enough to fit on there. And what we got to do is we've actually got to take the free wheel off. Uh, now if you've been riding your bike for a while uh, this thing could be on there super, super tight, and that's because as it's turning, it actually tightens itself on. Uh, I already broke this one loose, so it shouldn't be too hard to remove. However, if you are having difficulty with this process, try getting a piece of pipe, sticking it onto the end of your wrench, and then trying to turn it with that extra lever. So I'll show you how I do it. Basically, you take the tool and you stick it down inside there, and it fits into a bunch of splines in there. I'll show you in a sec. I'm just going to take loosen it and there you go so now we have access to the hub right here and we're going to take that apart we're going to grease it and then we'll go back together with it okay so removal of the spindle through the hub is actually very similar to removing the spindle in the bottom bracket however you're going to need two tools you're going to need a 15 millimeter cone wrench and it's a very thin wrench. Uh, if you have a super thin regular wrench that'll work too. Um, and then you're going to need a 17 millimeter wrench. And one thing I suggest is to wear padded gloves because those cone wrenches can really dig into your hand and you can actually hurt yourself uh, if you're not careful. Uh, so these just kind of take the edge off. And what you're going to do is you're going to grab this flat right here just above the hub and then you're going to come up here and Sometimes these can really bite. Uh, there we go. Sometimes those can be really tight, uh, and if that's the case, you can do that same thing with the cheater bar and, and try to work it around with extra leverage. Now that we've got this loose, we're going to completely take this nut off. And this is just a spacer that's going to come off too. And then what we need to do is we need to remove this. And this where you first use that cone wrench. That is actually going to come out from the center of the hub. And I'll have to hold the other side. It wants to spin. To get that to break loose. There we go. And what we'll do is we'll just thread that all the way out. And you'll see, I'll show you in a sec. Okay, so once you've got that loose, you'll actually see down here there are a bunch of loose bearings, and I use a little magnet to pop them out of there. So see, there's these little loose bearings here. Don't lose any, uh, because if you do, you're going to have to go find some more, probably at a bike shop. So once you've got those out, you can then pull the spindle through, and it'll let the uh, bearings come out from the other side. Okay, so once you get to the other side, you need to be extremely careful that you don't get grease onto your rotor. If you want to be extra safe, uh, you can take the rotor off before you do this. I've never really had an issue, so I just leave it on. I take my little magnet. And I grab those ball bearings out of there as well. Once you've got those all completely out, you can then take and just pull this right out. Once you've got everything removed, the bearings are out, I've got another little magnetic dish here, and your spindle is out, I wipe everything down with a clean rag, and then I actually go through and I clean the spindle with a little dab of uh, rubbing alcohol. I also clean the cups inside the hub with a little bit of rubbing alcohol on a rag, and then I actually soak these uh, little ball bearings in a, a small cup of rubbing alcohol and just kind of shake them to break all that grease off of them. Then we'll go through and we'll apply new grease. everything all cleaned up and ready to go back together and the first thing is first is you got to grease these cups before you can put your bearings in. So I use a uh, grease gun. You can do this by hand using a small 
bit of actual bicycle specific grease. It's the same thing I have in this gun. Uh, this is just a little bit cleaner. And what you need to do is you need to load these up. Do it quite a bit. Down in there. Now that grease is also what's going to hold these uh, ball bearings in place while we uh, are getting everything set before we put that shaft back in the spindle. As you can see, I've got it really loaded up. And what we're gonna do, now you should have nine of these bearings per side. And what you do is you put them in on the outside and just kind of let them drop down into that grease. Okay, so you'll see they are stuck in that grease. And what we do is we're gonna take that spindle and we're gonna drop it through through the other side and I just wiggle it side to side and that actually seats all the bearings in the outer race then very carefully you don't want to get grease on your rotor like I said before hold it and flip the whole thing over set it down on that and that'll hold those in place while you do this side So those are all seated in there. Now you're gonna take that cone nut. Oh, oh, oh. Take that cone nut. We're gonna thread it down on here and be careful not to knock any of those bearings down inside of the hub while you do this. All right, so we've got our cone nut fully seated. Um, and now what we need to do is I just crank it down until it's super tight using my cone wrench and then I back it off a little bit. So I'll probably get a couple turns out of it. There you go. And you'll hardly be able to spin it, uh, but it will still spin. If it's rough, uh, I double check just to make sure everything got seated properly. However, this one seems to be spinning pretty good. And I back it off just a touch. And then what we need to do is install that spacer, and install that outer nut. And we'll actually use this to uh, make sure that that cone nut stays locked in place feels pretty good already and what you want to make sure is there's no side to side slop it doesn't move inside and out this actually feels pretty good so what I'm going to do is hold this in place with my cone wrench and then tighten the nut down against it now don't let that cone rotate when you do this <clears throat> double check all right so it feels pretty good there's no slop There you guys have it, a super easy project for lubricating the hubs on your Mongoose fat bike. I strongly suggest you do this before you take it out and ride it just to prevent from any sort of premature wear or damage to your hubs. I really appreciate you guys stopping in and checking out this third episode in our Mongoose mini series. The next one I'll be coming to you with a makeshift paint booth that you can make in your garage. So don't forget to subscribe, shoot a thumbs up, and if you've got any questions throw them down in that comment section below. Thanks.